Here's a large white oak that we are quarter sawing today. This log is about 52 inches on the small end, so it should yield us some nice wide material. We will cut it into quarters on our slab mill and then take the quarters and put them on our band mill to saw them up into eight quarter. This single log scales out at over 1,300 feet. We'll yield a little bit less because quarter sawing it results in some waste. There are a number of different methods for quarter sawing logs. The purpose is to cut lumber with the growth rings perpendicular to the face of the board. Here I have outlined three common methods for quarter sawing. We'll be using the first one in this video. There are a few reasons why someone might want quarter sawn lumber. For one thing, it's more stable than flat sawn and less prone to cupping or warping. Some people just like the way it looks with a straight parallel grain. White and red oaks produce a certain kind of figure that is only visible when they are quarter sawn. This figure is the result of visible medullary rays. The medullary rays are vascular cells that transmit water and nutrients outwards as the tree grows. While all trees have these cells, they are most pronounced and visible in red and white oaks. I'm only showing the one quarter being sawn as the process was the same on the other three. This is an example of the kind of figure that you could expect from quarter sawn white oak. Here's the log stickered and ready for air drying.